Hi kids, my name is Mara Pistachio. I'm a fantasy drag performer. You may have already seen me back during the summer when I was reading a book with the Saskatoon Public Library and I'm back again today. I'm really excited to be reading with you again and we're in the month of October now and it's almost Halloween and I'm very excited. Are you excited for Halloween? I did this makeup specifically to fit with the Halloween theme and we're gonna get to the book now. The first book we're reading today is called Mary Wears What She Wants. It was written and illustrated by Keith Nickley. This book was inspired by a real woman. Um, and we're gonna see at the back who the woman is. Once upon a time, but not too long ago, girls weren't allowed to wear pants. Can you imagine? The only thing girls could wear were uncomfortable dresses heavy and hot and hard to breathe in dresses. Tight, too tight, and can't bend over dresses. It's the way things have always been and the way things always will be, they said. And no one thought it should be any different. Actually, that last part isn't entirely true. Mary thought it should be different, and she had an idea. A very daring idea. A great idea. Mary liked it so much, she went into town to show everyone. It was kind of a big deal. And not everyone liked it. You're gonna regret wearing pants, Mary, Walker, they all said. No, I won't, Mary said back. But she kind of did. Mary didn't understand why everyone cared so much about what she wore. They've never seen a girl wearing pants before, said her father. Sometimes people get scared of what they don't understand. So I should go back to wearing dresses, asked Mary. I didn't say that, said her father. That night, Mary didn't get a wink of sleep. The next morning, Mary decided she didn't like being told what to wear. Pants were just plain better in all sorts of ways. As she left for school, she discovered she could even walk faster in pants. Which Mary really appreciated.
But when Mary got to school, it was more of the same. She started to worry this was how things were going to be from now on. I'd like to go to school, please, said Mary. But you're wearing boys' clothes, they all said. I'm not wearing boys' clothes, said Mary. I'm wearing my clothes. Now, if you'll excuse me, please, I'm late for school. And with that, she pushed through the door and went inside, prepared for even more of the same. Except, it wasn't the same at all. And it was never the same again. And this was as I said, I was started inspired by the story of a true woman. Her name was Mary Edwards Walker. She was born a long time ago in 1832. And she enjoyed wearing pants at a time that it wasn't allowed for women to wear pants. And it was even illegal. And she wore pants a lot many times, and she was arrested many times for it. But then she went to study, and she became a doctor, and she even worked during the war as a surgeon, and she became a war hero. She was awarded a very fancy medal and she was very proud of it. And she lived until she was 87 years old. She challenged the social norms of her day. And she led the way so that today everyone, every girl and woman can wear pants if they want to. And I think it's a beautiful thing to let everyone wear what they want. So if boys want to wear dresses, they can wear that. And if girls want to wear pants, they can do that. And every child can wear whatever they want. And I think that's a very beautiful thing. Will you be a friend of mine, friend of mine, friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and jump around with me? Will you be a friend of mine, friend of mine, friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and clap along with me? Will you be a friend of mine, friend of mine, friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and turn around with me? Will you be a friend of mine, friend of mine, friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and wave around with me? I hope you enjoyed our little break and our little fun activity. We're going to get on to reading the second book now. And this book was written by someone that I really admire called Jonathan Van Ness. And it was illustrated by Gillian Reed. The title is Peanut Goes for the Gold. A 
has their own ways of doing things. Peanut loves doing cartwheels while on the basketball court and having banana pancakes on their birthday instead of cake. What kind of things do you enjoy doing? And they enjoy cutting their own hair as they hula hoop. Sometimes people think Peanut is weird, but more often friends wind up joining in the fun. When Peanut decides to do something, there's just no stopping them. I am going to be a rhythmic gymnast. And here's what my routine is going to look like. Dad, I need your help with my outfit. Mom, I need your help with my choreography. And Sammy, man, you need to pick out my music and make it funky. What kind of music would you want if you were doing a choreography? Peanut practice their routine night and day. Peanut practiced at home. They practiced at school. They practiced on the bus from home to school. And when the day for the big competition came, Peanut was sure the routine was perfect. The music was all queued up, and Peanut danced, and spun, and tumbled, and dove. They swung the hoop and tossed the ball and juggled the batoons and twirled the ribbon. Peanut performance was flawless, almost. Peanut only forgot one thing to tie their shoes. But instead of ruining the act, Peanut turned that stumble into a triple axel tumble. Peanut is a very good gymnast. And they totally stuck the landing. Peanut knew it was the perfect routine. And the judges couldn't help but agree. Yep, Peanut just had their own way of doing things. Even if they're still learning to tie their shoes. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book. I really liked it myself. I especially love that the book has a character who uses they them pronouns. My pronouns are they them too, 
and I, it's not something that I've seen a lot before and I really love that people like us are included in books nowadays. I hope you enjoyed the reading with me. I really loved reading with you and I hope that next time we can read even more books together.